Same things. We gon' burn it down. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that I deleted my recent video. People on Instagram messaging me thinking I went out this week during lockdown. And basically just threatening me, saying they're going to report me to the police because I went out during this lockdown, which was definitely not the case. So that video was filmed weeks ago. It was clickbait, basically. But deleted it to save any more hassle. See, these are the clips. This was actually Sunday the 15th which is like two weeks ago. So anyway, in this video guys, uh, obviously because of this coronavirus, we cannot go out to any abandoned buildings. We can't go out and do any photography. It sucks, but we have to stay here. And I hope you're all healthy, staying well. We're up here in London, just stuck in the apartment, doing nothing. Um, so I've gone through my computer and basically this video is just gonna be completely random. It's probably not gonna make sense, but it's just loads of clips of stuff that I've never used. And if you're from my local area, Devon, then you will know what this first clip is. It was the hotel, I think it was a hotel in Westford Ho that recently caught on fire. Um, me and James did get a chance to go in there before it caught fire, actually a few months before it caught fire, before anyone starts trying to blame me for catching a building on fire again, like the Shepherd one. Yeah, we went in there and we filmed some crazy stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff in there, so that's cool. And before I start the video, I know I'm rambling on a little bit, but before I start, I have started a car channel, which will be linked in the description below, uh, because you guys on Instagram wanted to see that, and I want to kind of do something else now. I'm up in London, and I've been working on my car a lot this week because we can't go out anywhere. So, hope you enjoy this video. Here's loads of unused footage and a little bit of used footage. Uh, but yeah, it should be cool. Check it out. No water. No electric, no water. I'm gonna do a voiceover on this because I didn't. we didn't speak much in this building because it's a really weird feeling when we was in there, so we just kept as quiet as possible. Uh, as you've seen there, that was a box full of BMX trophies, which was really, really weird. Um, as we first went in, we saw that. So, yeah, this building was just full of stuff. This was the main way in, uh, the main hallway, which we get back to in a minute, but Check out this room. This this was so weird. Just full of tools, buckets and buckets full of tools. I've never seen anything like this in an abandoned building before. Like socket sets and everything. There was boxes with dr brand new drills in. Uh, this is this is back into the hallway. There was even all this stuff in the hallway there by the stairs. We did go up those stairs at one point. I didn't film it, but we got to the top and there's a door which was locked with a almost like an alarm on it I think, there's a red flashing light so we didn't want to like try and force the door or anything like that uh, just in case it was stiff because it hadn't been opened in years but I think, it, I think it was locked this I believe is the kitchen, yeah this is the kitchen this was full of stuff everywhere as you can see boxes and boxes of pans and stuff like that but then the cupboards are wide open, look like they've been raided someone's just gone in, grabbed everything and pulled it into a box it was so weird, and there's no ceiling as well. All the ceilings and lights have gone. But one thing I did notice, there is electricity over there, and, well, hang on a minute, I just noticed something there. What the heck is that? So into another room next door to the kitchen, we had that full of duvets and chairs at the back, which makes me believe it was a hotel. Uh, this really small room here, just full of fisherman gear, uh, nothing interesting really in there, it was a really small room, but it was boarded up at the back. As we walk down the hallway here, as you can tell that door's not on, it's just hanging off. There was a little bit of rubbish there. This room was really damp. I think that door is just being, there's got stuff, it's got stuff behind it, just holding it up. Uh, as you, cause you can see all the mud that's just all in the floor there, all dried up. It's really soggy in there. Uh, that room was trashed. And it even had, I think we show it now as we walk in here, there's a wardrobe, which it should show any second now. Turn and show the wardrobe. There's just a load of stuff there. But behind me, there we go, that wardrobe, and then there's that big dark piece of wood. There's just that, and it's not really thick. And then at the other side of that, it's just outside, there's no wall or nothing, it's just that big board. 
which was really weird. It's like the wall's been knocked down before. This little room here is full of, I believe, car oil and obviously loads of like radio looking things, wires and this box full of random spark plugs which is really weird. I guess that's like car oil and stuff there, really old stuff, maybe boat oil, stuff like that. I don't know what these are. It is such a weird building, like there's just amplifiers sat there. I mean that one's a little bit damaged but the other one doesn't even look like it's had any damage at all, it's just dirty and surely they're worth a bit of money. There's little smashed up speakers there. It just makes you think like who left this place like this with all this stuff in it. It's so so weird. Oh this room here if you look at the back that big white wall, it's not actually a wall you can see above it there, there's a big gap. That's just the outside again. There's just a thin white board and then it's outside. Uh, this is the main big room at the bottom as we walked through at the beginning. And there's pianos and jukeboxes and all sorts of really old weird stuff. I just, it's such a weird building. And then obviously we walked back through to the way we came in. Uh, that 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 room was trashed. There was the ceiling was on the floor, um, but it's just a weird building. Like obviously it's caught fire now. I don't know if you've seen it on Devon Live, but it has been caught on fire. I don't know. I drove past a few weeks ago and the doors were wide open. A few weeks ago, a few months ago even. that one dodgy person. This place is huge. I think that's part of it over there as well. They've got a big tower. All that as well. Let's do this. Oh. You could chuck it in there if you want. Yeah, that for a sec. Sweet. Um, yeah, get the sick mic. Yeah. Nice. Let's get down. So that looks like the very start. I literally just fell flat on my ass trying to get in there. Ah. But it is what we think is like a little hut thing. It's like fucking tiny, but the door, that door's locked, so we're not gonna break it. I'm trying not to fall on my ass again. Guys, I'm sorry if it's windy, I'm literally right by the sea, so. It could possibly be very windy. Ah. Okay, this is creepy. That's creepy. That is weird. Look at the floor. Well, at least we know the floor is very unsafe in there. This, this bit here looks new. Oh, okay, guys, we're in. That was crazy. Oh, what the hell? See so just one room in here. It's really creepy. It's weird, isn't it? It's like cable. Scissors, tape, and a bag. Someone's, someone's been murdered in there. Is that pasta? That's some fresh pasta. I reckon this is like a fisherman's little cabin or something. It's not very big. Oh, there's all sorts in there. That is weird, isn't it? 
candle. It is a bit cold. Walking uh, track. Two thousand ten.